Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use LinkedIn Boolean search on Sales Navigator to build super accurate lead lists. Boolean search is a really simple programmatic language that you can use to build super targeted lead lists on Sales Navigator. It uses a combination of logical connectors like N, OR, and NOT, and also punctuation with parentheses and quotes. So there is two places where you can use Boolean search on Sales Navigator, which are the job title filter here that will be useful to look into the job titles of your prospects and the keyword search filter here that will look into the whole profile of your prospect. It means job titles, job descriptions, education, recommendation, basically anything that is written on the LinkedIn profiles of your prospect. So let's start with quotes. Quotes will allow you to look for an exact match or an exact expression. So let's take an example here with the job title field and let's write supply chain director without quotes and you're going to see that i'm going to have supply chain director plus other similar job titles so if i scroll down a little bit here so here director of supply chain director of supply chain if i go for example on page eight you're going to see that job title is a little bit different like finance director supply chain managing director supply chain global director of supply chain so these are closely related job titles but this is not exactly uh, what i am looking for if you want to have like um, be really strict on what you are looking for you can take the same expression but add quotes around it and you're going to see that all the people in the search will have exactly exactly supply chain director as um a job title so here you can see absolutely everybody has the exact expression supply chain director on job titling if i go on the page seven for example it's going to be the same thing and on all the pages you know it's going to be the same thing here everybody you know has a supply chain director inside the job title next we have not and not will allow you to exclude some keywords from your search so i've taken an example here with chief executive officers in small companies in Los Angeles. And I got 2000 results. And you know, often when you are looking for CEOs in your search results, you can find assistants or chief of staff. And if you want to avoid that, and here I'm gonna, you know, copy paste chief executive officer and had not, and then the keyword I want to exclude. And here, this is assistant. So chief executive, I want chief executive officer, but not assistant. And I'm going to press enter here and you're going to see that now I have 1,500 results. So among these results, 500 people were assistant to the CEO and not CEO. So pay attention if you are looking for like CEOs or other job titles to always exclude the keywords and the people you don't want in your search result. It could be like assistant, intern, freelancers, or consultant. And if you have several keyword, you know, to exclude, you just need to write here, not assistant. And if you get several keywords, you can add not freelancers and just add not, not in your keyword like this. And you can make your list like this, like not consultant. What you can do is make a blacklist of keywords you want to exclude from your searches and then just add not between them. Next, we have OR, and OR will be useful if you want to look for at least one keyword or one expression into a LinkedIn profile. So, for example, the most common use case is to use OR to build job titles lists. So let's say I have a list of job titles I want to target. I can add them and write OR between them like head of sales or head of marketing or VP marketing, for example. And if I press enter here, you're going to see that the three different job titles will appear on my search. So here I have VP marketing, head of sales, head of marketing, head of sales, VP marketing. So you see that, you know, the three different job titles I've hunted here appear in my search. So as I said, the most common use case is you make a list of all the job titles you want to target and you add quotes and all between them and then you copy paste that into Sales Navigator. Or is also used when a word has different spellings. Like for example, if you are looking for 
um, VP of marketing in the e-commerce industry, you could like write uh, your job titles on a job title filter and write like, you know, e-commerce or e-commerce with the dash, you know, or e-commerce with a space because maybe there is three orthographies on the LinkedIn profile of your prospect. So yeah, I'm going to look for these job titles with these keywords written somewhere on the profile. And every time you have a word, and this can be for job title as well, like VP, VP could be VP, vice president with a space and vice president with a dash. So every time you have a job titles or keyword you are looking for that have different orthographies, make sure to use or to write all the different spellings for that keyword. Next, we have end and end will allow you to look for several keywords in a job title or in a LinkedIn profile. So here I'm going to take a really simple example. Just write sales and marketing. So here you don't need to add the quotes because uh, there are only one word. You know, you need to add the quotes for expressions, several words, but when there is one word, uh, you are not forced to do this. So last time with e-commerce, I added the quotes because I have to get the habit to add quotes everywhere so I don't forget them. Even if I write one word, I put the quotes. So I'm sure to not forget the quotes where, where they need to be quotes, but in principle, you don't need to add the quotes um, if you have only one word. If I press on here, you're going to see that the job titles will be really different, but every time there will be sales and marketing written somewhere. So here I got VP sales marketing, director of sales marketing, VP of sales marketing, head of sales marketing. If I scroll down, head of sales marketing, sales marketing, etc. Chief sales and marketing officer. So you know, job titles, are not the same, but every time you get sales and marketing written somewhere. Next, we have parentheses, and parentheses will allow you to combine several Boolean orders. So here I've taken an example and I've written VP or head and sales or marketing. And this expression works like, you know, a mathematical equation, for example. This expression is looking for four job titles, VP and sales, VP and marketing, or ad and sales, or ad and marketing. You know. So in reality, when I write that here and here, I'm looking for four job titles, VP sales, VP marketing, head of sales, and head of marketing. So now I'm going to copy that and paste it into Sales Navigator. And this is a pro tip for you guys. If you start writing long booleans and with boolean with parentheses, uh, my advice is to write your boolean on uh, a Notion page or Google Doc and then paste it into Sales Navigator because you know, on Sales Navigator, this is really difficult to write long boolean because you know, you can see what you are writing and you are losing, like if you do this, you are writing all your expressions. So if you spend five minutes of your time writing the perfect Boolean search, and then, you know, it just erased like that, you know, you are re really, really frustrated. So my advice is to write your Boolean somewhere and you can check, you know, if everything is correct, if the quotes are in place, the parentheses are good, etc. And once you check the orthography of your Boolean, you can paste it into a sales navigator like this. And here, same thing, you're going to see all the different job titles. So here I have VP and marketing, head and sales. If I scroll down a little bit, we have vice president sales. So LinkedIn here is doing the translation between VP and uh, vice president. He's doing that for CEO and chief executive officer as well. But this is not correctly done every time. So still write uh, VP or vice president in your Boolean search because LinkedIn is not always uh, making the translation for you. And here we got, you know, VP marketing here as well and head sales and marketing. So you can see that all the job titles possible here containing VP sales, VP marketing, head sales and marketing are present in, uh, in the search results. And my advice for parentheses is to use them like this. So first parenthesis, will be for position related keywords. Like if you are looking for decision makers, for example, you can write all the, the keywords that are related to the position, like VP or, you know, vice president. And you can add the, you know, the, the different orthographies as well. So vice president, 
or head or chief or uh, it's, it's vice president with a dash for example so all like position related uh, keywords and then you can add the function related keywords so let's say you are targeting people in sales or marketing or operation you can write here sales or marketing or operation or any function related keywords and on the third parenthesis you can add uh, the keywords that you want to exclude your blacklist of keywords and for that you can write not and then you can write all type of things like assistant or chief of staff or intern all the keywords in your blacklist and here for example this search will look for VP sales, VP marketing, VP operation, or vice president sales, vice president marketing, or vice president operation, head of sales, marketing operation, chief of sales, marketing operation. So here, you just need to add position, function, blacklist, and then you're going to have all the job titles you want to target in just one click by copy pasting your Boolean. So here, I'm going to copy this Boolean and paste it into LinkedIn Sales Navigator. <clears throat> and we are going to check the results on page five, for example, to see if LinkedIn really applied the Boolean search. And here we're gonna check the, the job title results, like Vice President of Sales, Chief Sales Officer, okay. VP Sales Marketing, Vice President of Sales, Chief Marketing Officer, Chief Officer, Head, Lifecycle Marketing, okay. And then here we got someone that is not fitting the search results, Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Manager. And guys, there is two problems you need to know about the job title search on LinkedIn is that first, LinkedIn is looking on the profile in several languages. So let's take <clears throat> the profile of Alexander here. And we're going to see that here, we have digital marketing e-commerce manager, digital marketing consultant. So it's, it, it seems to not be a fit, right? But if I go on the LinkedIn profile here, View on LinkedIn, and I got a profile in English. And if I click on Dutch here, you can see that in the profile in Dutch, I have head and sales and marketing. So sometimes you think it's the wrong results because you are only looking the profile in English, for example. But if you check the profile in another language, you're going to see that LinkedIn is right to show this result. So this is the first one. A second one is when people have several present experiences or forget to close their past job experience. So for example, if you like this one here, group marketing and digital practice director. So not VP, not head, not sales, uh, only marketing. Marketing is the only keyword appearing here. And you see that when people are like changing jobs, but they forget to close the previous job experience when they are opening a new one, they have like two experience we've written uh, present here so i guess the, the correct job is this one and this one is the last job but linkedin is making no difference in that so the strange thing is that linkedin will look into both job titles and here you got sales in this one you got head sorry head in this one and marketing in this one but LinkedIn is not making a difference. It's like the same job title for LinkedIn. So you are telling LinkedIn that you want head and marketing in the present job title. And LinkedIn say, yes, you got head and marketing in the present job title. So for LinkedIn, it's a good results. So sometimes if you are surprised by this kind of results, check the profile in other languages and check if there is past experiences that match with your search criteria. And I've selected two more uh, examples for you guys. For example, <clears throat> this person here has updated, uh, you know, a job in the same company. So she was a head of sales, but now COO, but head of sales here is still marked as present, whereas she is COO now. So she may, you know, end up getting into head of sales search results, but COO now. And the second one is when you change company, but you don't 
close your past experience. So this guy, you know, head of sales and marketing here, still marked as present, but now a new company with co-founder and marketing and customer support. So not a head of sales anymore, given that this was six years ago and this is four months ago, you know. So you need to pay attention to this when you are looking for job titles. And the other thing you need to be careful is the, the keyword search, because when you are using the keyword search, you are looking into the whole profile uh, of your prospect. So I've taken um, an example here. I've selected a company and I've written marketing into the keyword filter. Like, you know, I'm new to Sales Navigator. I write some company names. I want people that work in marketing. So I write marketing in the keyword filter. And let me show you what bad results uh, it can produce because here we can see that this person, Morgan, she's partner in a law firm, right? But if I control plus F here, I can see that the keyword marketing appear on the education section. So it's not a qualified lead at all, you know, because if you are looking for, for marketing, she's a partner in a law firm. So be really careful when you are using the keyword filter because it will look into absolutely all the profile and can produce, you know, people that have like completely changed jobs or that have met study in one field, but completely changed job after that. Uh, these people can get into your searches, but they are not, you know, qualified leads. And last tip for you guys, if you are happy with your Boolean search, your search results, and you want to extract your leads into a CSV. For that, you can use the Evaboot Chrome extension. So I've left the link in the description. And once you have downloaded the Evaboot Chrome extension, you can click on the button here, extract with Evaboot, and Evaboot will open a new window where you'll be able to name and extract uh, your search. So you just need like to name your search like this, for example and to click on the button here, extract leads. And Evaboot will give you all the data available on LinkedIn into a CSV. So the names, company names, company website, company industry, etc. everything that is available on LinkedIn. We will also clean the data. So clean the names with the emojis, capital letters, etc. And we will also check if your Boolean has been applied by LinkedIn. So here you can see in this column that here I have 70 four percent of qualified leads it means that 26 percent of my search don't match my search results and if i download the file here so here for this search i was looking for head of sales so here i am on the file and i would scroll down and here eva boot is telling me wrong title okay and i was looking for head of sales and here i can see all the job titles that are not fitting with my search criteria like head of MTS, member, head of growth, director. And I was looking for head of sales. You know, if I go up on the file, here I have head of sales, head of sales, global head of sales, etc. So Hevaboot is telling me, yeah, match filter. Okay, yes, yeah, it match your filters. So if you want to be sure that your search results really match your Boolean search, you can use the Evaboot Chrome extension to extract all the data and check uh, if your Boolean search has really been applied, clean the data. And if you want the emails of your prospect, you just need to click on find emails here and click on the button and Evaboot will add professional emails and verify the emails for all the leads in your file. Hope you have enjoyed this LinkedIn Boolean search tutorial. If you want to see more LinkedIn lead generation tutorials like this one, you can subscribe to the Evaboot YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And if you want to know more about how to use Sales Navigator to generate leads, you can check the video that appears just right here. It's a one hour tutorial where I cover everything you need to know about how to use Sales Navigator for lead generation. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.